Alrighty, so this is my first Carowinds construction update and I'm super excited to finally dip my feet into this kind of a project. Um, this has like even more excitement written all over it than that to my home park at Canada's Wonderland. I can't believe Carowinds is getting a mock coaster. I can't believe that they're getting a double launch coaster by the looks of it. And I cannot believe the size of the project alone. This is super exciting. So let's go over a few of the facts that we know. So we know it's gonna be a mock. It looks like it's going to be a double launch coaster and Screamscape um, leaked the plans and it looks like they were correct as we can tell by the um, rebar cages for the footers on site and the actual packaging that says mock rides right on it. So super exciting. Um, and I have a feeling just like Canada's Wonderland because Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland are sister parks that these coasters both in 2019 are going to be extensively themed. Now, when it comes to theming and the type of theme that Carowinds may go with, Copperhead Strike has already been trademarked. And if I'm right or correct, please correct me down below. Because Carowinds isn't my home park, I'm probably going to screw up a lot on some of the facts um, and just basic knowledge of the park. Copperhead's um, snakes are kind of in that area, and that's why that name might have been chosen. I am picturing something on the level of like, in between like Disney World and like Sea World type theming. I think this is going to be a really extensive theming project. And I think Car Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland are going to blow a lot of people away with the theming on their coasters. So construction has just kind of started and there isn't, they're a little bit farther behind than that to Canada's Wonderland, which is interesting because it's a much larger coaster than that to a dive coaster. In my opinion, it's a double launch mat coaster. So they're probably going to go hardcore for the rest of the season on construction, whereas Canada's Wonderland will probably slow down. So um, I watched uh, uh, some of these clips over. Um, I have looked at these pictures over and it looks like they're still doing kind of like the main um, kind of groundwork when it comes to a new area. So based off of things I'm seeing, it looks like we're going to see a pretty extensive kind of midway. It looks like they're inserting pipes that you would normally see for like new restaurants, water work. Um, or a new like um, restroom. So I, I'm expecting kind of like a mini expansion um, in this area. And a comment down below for anyone from Carowinds if you agree or disagree with that. It, it kind of looks like they're getting ready to have some buildings in there, that area. Um, so I'm maybe predicting probably a restaurant and a restroom um, to go along with the theming as well. I don't know what you could theme that to for Copperhead Strike. Um, I'm kind of thinking like Carowinds theme and Carolinas um, and the mixture of Copperhead Strike and how that could work. Um, definitely comment down below what you guys think they could pull off with the theming on a Copperhead Strike because I'm kind of lost in terms of theming for that and I would love to see your guys' ideas. As you can tell, I'm kind of stumbling over words because I'm really trying to think about the kind of potential for that. I do think it's going to be extensive and I think it's going to look gorgeous once done, but I'm, I'm kind of lost for how it can look. I'm trying to picture it in my head and I can't. Um, but yeah, so the area is very large for the construction site and there's lots of markings just like at Wonderland, but it, they obviously have a lot more footers or potential footers marked on the land just from what I've seen from pictures. Um, and again, thank you so much to those of you who are sending me in pictures. Um, I would love video footage moving forward as well. So if anyone can grab me video footage at the park, um, B-roll footage of the construction site or anything in the park, that would be phenomenal because I really want to do a lot of construction updates on this park and this coaster as it has Golden Ticket Award for 2019 written all over it. And I think this is going to be one of the most exciting projects in 2019 so far. Don't at me. <laughs> Don't come for me. So far, this does look like the most exciting project and I couldn't be more excited for Carowinds and its enthusiast group. Um, so it's a great location. It's in between the water park and the dry park. Again, correct me if I get any information wrong. Um, and it is a very large plot of land. And from even just a couple weeks ago when it started to now, there's been lots of land clearing, lots of markings, and um, lots of water pipes and electricity or electrical work going on, um, which is, uh, again, super exciting. It points to a lot of different things. I mean, I, I can't guarantee it's a restaurant or restroom just yet. It could be anything. But here are some overshots that people sent me. Again, 
Please don't send me shots of you on Windseeker or a ride. I cannot use that because we do have relationships with the parks, um, especially in the Cedar Fair chain, and we don't want to jeopardize that. So grab any pictures you grab, please grab them from a viewing area like this, not a ride, or I cannot use it. So thank you, um, but please send me in video footage again. Just to touch on that again, I would love video footage of this construction site um, and even around it. So we do know that there's a lot of construction walls. It looks like a lot more than we see at Canada's Wonderland. The construction site itself is a lot larger than that at Canada's Wonderland as well, just to compare two projects. And um, yeah, Matt coasters seem to be uh, in high demand now, and I am beyond thrilled that Cedar Fair is working with Mac Rides. I cannot wait to see the next park that gets one. But um, to get back onto the construction site itself, um, they already have a crane on site. I don't even, we don't even see a crane at Canada's Wonderland. So obviously they are ready to go full force and they are a little bit far behind in my opinion for such a large double launch Mac coaster. I feel like they should have started a little sooner because a dive coaster is easier to build and we started a lot sooner. So um, I guess we're gonna see a lot of work over the next like year before this opens, less than a year, but we're gonna see a lot of work. So lots of construction fences so far, lots of digging, lots of markings um, so far. Nothing like super in-depth to report on in terms of the construction update itself yet. But again, I am looking for video footage and pictures, anything to make a video on. I really wanna report on this construction project. So please send them to me. Basically, just message me on Instagram. The link is down below. We are Amusement Insiders on Instagram, so send me any pictures and video you may have. I'll give you access to a folder that you can drop them in, um, and that would be greatly appreciated as we're always looking for park reps from various parks. We have a very large team, and I'm always looking for more. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you guys think about the theming I mentioned earlier. Um, are you excited for Copperhead Strike at Carolyn's? And um, is anyone is this anyone's home park that can provide me with any information on this park so I can use it in future videos? Anyways, thanks for watching as always, guys. Give this video a like, um, comment down below, share it if you want, um, and subscribe if you haven't. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.